Hello everybody, this is SquirrelsRog85 and I am going to show you how to use MSI Afterburner to record your videos. Because I have had people ask me, Joy, how do you use MSI Afterburner? I had one person on Twitter say that I must have some sort of degree to have learned how to do it. And nope, all I've done is looked at tons of other YouTube videos on how to do it. But here I'm showing you, well, I'm not, I'm not showing you on purpose. <laughs> But I'm using OBS to record this information. I use OBS to record my Flash games because um, I can't modify MSI to record Flash games. Um, it used to, but it may be because of the laptop that I'm using. Um, a lot of laptops have um, different settings that you can use. Mine is just a Dell and everything is built in automatically already and there's no flipping anything around. There's no changing or modifying anything. I'm hopefully, hopefully with a little luck, I'll be able to get myself something better and um, more useful for recording games and stuff. But until then, my Dell is working just fine. But anyway, back to this. So you're going to open up your browser and you're going to go into MSI. <sighs> MSI afterburner download okay you're gonna see a couple of download spots here you can go to the first one that says gaming.msi and then go to downloads and then you're gonna download it right here um, they now have options where you can download it for you know other things but this is for PC uh, and, and the one that I use. I'm not going to re-download it because I've already downloaded it once before. When you download it, it's going to come into a zip file. You're going to, you know, open the zip file and you're going to run the normal prompts to install it. Then you're going to get this down here or somewhere. If you don't have it right there, just use your search bar and uh, look for MSI. and then you should be able to find it. Okay. So I'm going to open this up and this is going to ask, do you want the following program to run as publisher, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to want to say yes. Then you're going to get this. Mine looks a little different because I added the skin onto it. And here's the fun part where you get to modify it. So you're going to find the little settings button. For me, because I use this skin, my settings are down here. You're going to have all these different things. Generally, MSI is for clocking your computer. You can see over here the GPU usage, the vid, memory, CPU, temperature. Um, and you can go in here and you can see that I have this lovely little Intel graphics. It, it'll check out everything that's on your computer. I mean, you can see right here it says Intel HD graphics family. Um, so you're there's nothing really to use here. Um, you're going to go through everything. and you, you can look at everything if you want and see you know, what it says. But you want to go to on-screen display and you want to check this box. What it does is there's this little tiny pink or black. It depends on you know what you're looking at. It'll rotate in the top left-hand corner. And if you don't remove that, it, it'll automatically have that in all your videos. Screen capture, this is for if you want to take uh, screenshots with MSI. But you want to go here to where it says video capture. You want to set your hotkey, mine is F10. And then generally, I just use the auto. And you want to use the, the uh, the M JPEG, the movie JPEG compression and the audio, you know, the audio interleave. Now for me, i you can, if you look at my earlier videos, the quality is absolutely awful and that's because I had it way down here at 85% and that's because it makes the video smaller. To keep video quality high, I have it at 100%. But you're also going to have massively large files with MSI. Um, a video that 
it's almost about an hour long, can be 15 gigabytes in size. So beware. Um, for YouTube, you want the 16.9 360p. Um, if you look at my earlier videos of like uh, Bioshock, they aren't full screen. But if you look at my newer videos, they are full screen. And that's because I set it to YouTube standards. The frame rates per second, keep it at 30 uh, because that just makes it a lot easier. And then also remember that if you don't unclick where you're at, if you have a little mouse scroller thing, it'll automatically start scrolling through. So always make sure you unclick. Um, okay. So then you want to go down here. You also want to set your file folder of where everything's going to save at. And mine goes here. Then you want to scroll down here and you're going to set your audio sources. Now I set my speakers to work and then I set my headset to pick up the sound. And that's and for games like um, um, Assassin's Creed. I'll set this to use my onboard microphone that the laptop comes with because then as the speakers are playing it's also picking up that background sound. But most of them I have them be picked up by my microphone. Um, but when I get a better computer those settings will change. So then that's it for that. Then you want to go down here in the corner. You're going to find this. And if you can't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you can't find that, then you're going to go and you're going to go to, again, uh, you're going to go here or wherever your search bar is when no Windows 7 is very different. And you're going to look up Rivia. Riva Tuner. Okay. This is where you're going to set other settings. Here are some applications that if you don't set them as exceptions, um, they will block MSI Afterburner from recording. I have this turned off to not start with Windows and I don't have the on-screen display. Here you want to make sure that stealth mode is on because that gives it smoother running while hooking the games and recording. And then here you want, you will switch between Vector 2D and Vector 3D depending on what you do. I've been keeping it on Vector 3D because games like Assassin's Creed will not record with MSI if you have it on 2D because it's only looking at two dimensional games. You want it on three dimensional games. And then the rest of this, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. But the main thing is, if you find that you can't record, you want to search here and see what's conflicting. You can also click on this little eye here, and this will tell you, okay, what else is on. Some of these things will, the active 3D processes, like you can see OBS is registered there. It will not let me record with OBS on. Uh, and you can find these things and then put them here as exceptions and then Afterburner will bypass those and you're good to record and then when you go to record you just press F10 and it will do its thing. Um, again like this like I said this is an overclocking system for uh, you know seeing how your computer's going at the moment, uh, how it's running. So a lot of gamers have something like this uh, to make sure that everything's running okay, running smoothly. But that is how you set up MSI Afterburner to record video games. And then when you go to record, you'll hit your hotkey and it should automatically start recording. What I do before every single recording is I press F10 and I do a test run. And then I close everything out and I check my folder to see if my video recorded in there. If it did, 
great. If it's not there, then I have to figure out why it's not working and then I go through and I tweak the settings. A lot of times what it's going to be is going here and it's going to be the vector on screen display rendering mode. It's going to be one of those. Again, I haven't figured out how to do a MSI um, for screen capture for um, flash games, but if you do use OBS, I can show you real quick. Once you have OBS set up, all you do is you go to add and then you go to window capture. And then it will ask you what window do you want to record. And then if you have you know, like your Chrome window or Inner Explorer or Firefox open, you're going to click that and then you're going to want to click entire window. And then it's going to show a little tiny box up there. And then you're going to edit the scene and you're going to make it smaller. Now you can also add in a, a video capture device. And that is how you do your webcam. This is how people are able to record their videos and have their faces up. I don't like to record with my face, but, you know, that's just me. And then you make it smaller, put it up in the corner, and then you adjust. Hi! And then you have yourself there. As you can see, the way I record is I have my headset around my neck because, um, again, MSI Afterburner and a lot of, well, and even OBS, um, the way my laptop's set up, I have to pick up the sound through my mic um, for it to reflect on the video. Um, otherwise, it won't. Oh god, I look so heavy. I'm really not that fat, I promise. <laughs> um, but anyway, and then this is how you get your, you know, like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and, you know, all them who have their little picture up here in the corner. You can put it anywhere you want. And there you go. And you're recording just like them and everything is hunky-dory and a-okay. Um, so as you can see on MSI, or sorry, MSI, <gasps> on OBS you have multiple little things that will show, uh, you know, your captures. And it's awesome. Uh, again, I use this for my flash games. I don't use OBS for flash. I don't use... Fuck. I don't use MSI for flash games. I use OBS for flash games. But I hope this tutorial helps people a little bit. Um, for OBS, the, the settings, you want to make sure that your encoding, where is it? Your broadcast settings are set to file output only if you're recording for games. Everything else you just kind of mess with on your own. Here, some people have problems with black screens on full screen. I know I do. And here they can click and they can choose their NVIDIA card. I don't have that option. And then here you'll mess with your mic settings and everything and then your hotkeys. And, you know, there's so much. Here's the noise gate. You know, if you have a lot of background noise, you can switch that around. And then that's how... OBS works. Uh, if you like this tutorial video, go ahead and, and like it. Hit the like button. And if you know somebody who needs some information, uh, go ahead and share this with them if you want. If not, if I sucked, you don't have to share it with nobody. <laughs> Alright, everybody. You guys have a great one, and thanks for watching. Uh, may the squirrels be with you, and take care. Goodbye.